In this video, I'm going to go over the different file formats that we give you within LogoMaker and what you could use them for. So if you get the free version and you press save right here, you will get the uh, low resolution PNG. The low resolution PNG is really great because you could use it on your website or anything like that, um, but you will have to give us credit and so on and so forth. When you buy the high resolution, uh, images by clicking this. Here are all the file formats that we give you and I'm going to kind of go over each one of them and what you could use them for. So um, some of them you'll want to use for printing of course and other ones you'll want to use for web-based stuff and I'm going to kind of go over each thing. Uh, we give you two different PNGs. This is called a rasterized image, the PNG. And we give you a high resolution and a web-based PNG. You could put those on your website, Wix, Weebly, Squarespace, WordPress websites. It doesn't matter what type of website it is. Um, it will take a PNG. What's great about a PNG is it's transparent. So it has a transparent background. Even though you see a white background here, you it, it will come in transparent, meaning you could put this image, let's just pretend this is your logo image, on something that's blue in the background and it won't be it won't have a box so that's really good about png the high resolution png you can print it you could put it on like letterheads and stuff like that so we give you one high resolution png and we give you one uh, a web based png same with uh we give you a high resolution uh, jpeg you put this on websites and whatnot as well um you could also use this on your social media as well but we also give you social media files so it really just depends on what you're using it for this is more web-based as well so we give you two types of web-based um stuff uh files that you could use uh the two other files that are really important uh are the uh, svg file and the pdf file these are what's called vector files vector files means you could zoom in on these files and it will never get pixelated. It'll never get blurry and it will always look good. These are the files that the print companies want you to give them. This is probably the most popular, the PDF file, but you, we give you both just in case, you know, uh, you want to make some changes or they, um, they, meaning the print company wants to make a color change. Let's say they want to make it red. Well, they have special tools um, and software so they could do that they can make those changes if they wanted to uh, on there uh, the PDF same thing it's uh, high resolution it's more than high resolution is the vector file so it's bigger essentially or better essentially than the PNG PNG is a high resolution but this is super high res in in terms of you could put it on a billboard and stuff like that so that's what what these two are really geared for and then um, if you're using our uh, social icon creator we also give you a fave icon and the fave icons you could use for your website i don't know if you've ever seen on the top of websites um, you'll see this little fave icon for example right here on the very top corner of the browser you'll see that right there that's what the fave icon is and in your website creator you could add that fave icon um, so basically we give you all of these plus we give you all the other social media files for uh, YouTube Facebook I believe, I believe it's like nine or ten files that we also give you uh, when you're using the social icon creator but these are the big files that you're going to be wanting to use and that's what each of them do let us know if you have any questions